don't exactly know what this is. I got it from a little side shop. Uh, it's a, like a pizza, except it has a top and a bottom, and it has ham, and probably some other kind of spicy something or other in on the top layer. And it's sold in slices. Another pretty setting. Here nearby, what I'm guessing was a wealthy person's home. Notice the Florence type, albeit much smaller, wrought iron fittings for holding horses and carriage horses. And this surface looks like it's been etched. Take a closer look at these window arches. First notice the stones to the right, the white ones. Notice how they're carved to begin the arch and to solidly hold its ends, or at least appear to. I wonder if that detail is carved or pressed into some kind of plaster or cement. I'm sitting against the Santa Agostino Church enjoying the last bit of sun. Here are three big clangers. Hope they don't go with these puppies when I'm up here. Hope they don't start ringing these bells when I'm up here. Looks like it's motorized anyway. because the rain's coming in pretty fast, I think. I have to watch the camera lens. There, we're looking down into the square. This is where I stood last night for those dusk shots. And to pan back. San Agostino. And I was sitting down a few minutes ago in the right hand corner of that doorway.
and then down the long road there well you can't see it it's behind those buildings anyway to where you see the double wall and right across from that square there is where my monastery room is now here is the Pizzali Cisterna there's the cistern just peeking out from behind that relatively low tower but beneath us all but the void of tourists who have gone home by now any day but certainly by now on a Sunday Two more towers just off the square <clears throat> and that long road there is the road down to San Giovanni entrance which is right there there's the little park right beyond it that I was walking through to the right I'll pick up the bus from there and go back to Florence it's kind of neat to be up on top here we can look down into the backyards of people who live here and get a little taste of how they live. Balcony location, if you don't mind the cacophony of the tourist, actually as an old man or as a young man, I found that interesting. I found it interesting on Balboa Island, California. What I find interesting about this tower is two things. One, um, the fact that they've set up a little table up on top for whoever has access to come and enjoy a glass of wine and a view. And then secondly of all, what looks like a crack it goes across the, through that tower. Coming back down in one of these holes for a uh, stair post, I noticed an egg in a nest, probably a pigeon. Again, looking at this wall, you see various examples of arches, windows, doorways that have been filled in. I wonder what history prompted that. <laughs> 